Peeps Ray MUA and in this video I'm going to be trying out Home Bargains makeup. Just a bit of background, that is a store in the UK that sells really cheap items. I saw that they bought out new makeup products by Olivia Hale they were called and they had them on sale for 99p. So I picked up a full face and this is how it turned out. So I will leave all of my handles down here just for Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. I've also signed up to Vero. Is that how you say it? Vero? 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 I say Vero anyway. Again, that's just Pixaray at MUA. So if you do have one, get a follow in. If you would like to see what I thought of these individual products, how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I've already got my primer right. I'm just using the Rimmel Last Imperfection here. All the makeup in this bag. So this costs $9.99 for all of this makeup. So this is a full face of home bargain makeup. Each item was 99p each. So this full face cost less than my normal foundation. The only thing I didn't get was bronzer as it was just way, way too dark for me. There was absolutely no point in me getting it. So yeah, bronzer and contour I didn't get and they didn't have a setting powder. So I'll use my own bronzer and my own setting powder but other than that, everything else I have is completely from there and I've not even opened these. So they all come in the black boxes which actually, I think looks quite nice, you know, looks quite nice packaging. This is the foundation that I got in the shade Cafe Ole. It was the lightest one. So we'll see if it works. So this is what the foundation looks like. And it's just in a squeezy tube. So they are all packaged in this black sort of packaging. So, moment of truth. That looks quite dark. A smooth, even finish apply foundation with a brush, starting at the centre of your face and blending it out. I'm not going to use a brush, I'm going to use a beauty blender. I don't know if this foundation is going to be for oily skin, dry skin. It's definitely not for pale skin. It's definitely not my shade. quite a thick foundation and it does have a scent it's not unpleasant it smells like a uh, my grandma's makeup sort of thing you know that typical smell this foundation's so dark oh god I'm going to look so orange I'm just using my Real Techniques diamond sponge let's get blending I guess So that's one layer. Um, I'm just going to come closer. I don't know if you can see, but you can still see this blemish here and the blemishes um, on my face. This is actually probably a good day to test out this makeup because I do have quite a few blemishes. You can still see all like my freckles. It's just sort of made me orange. It's not really done a great deal. It doesn't feel too bad on the skin. I mean, it's kind of dewy feeling. I mean, I could literally be the shade of my jumper right now. I'm going to see if it layers. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the colour of that on there. Um, that might give me an indication of how orange this is making me. This is definitely buildable. So as you can see, it has covered a little bit more now. I'd say it's probably like a light to medium coverage but it is buildable. It's actually not that bad. I was saying it was 99p it isn't that bad. It's got a nice dewy finish if that's what you like. It does give me a nice healthy glow. This was the lightest shade. If you're pale this really isn't going to work and to be honest I don't think there was any colours for deep skin tones either. So not the best range. I think the only people it's going to suit is people who are like a mid-toned range. So they did have a concealer. This was in the shade Light. It's orange. They had light, medium and dark. 
I don't think the dark one was even that dark either. So again, failing there. Ugh, this whole video is just going to be me getting into packaging. So this is the colour on my hand. <laughs> At least it will match my face. So it's a little applicator. so it is very thin and the applicator feels really cheap but I mean like I say it was only 99p I don't know if they are putting the prices up if they are I wouldn't pay it let's see if you like a lighter concealer then maybe okay so that is quite an oily concealer but it did cover my bags and my blemishes so not too bad if you like a light concealer or if you have drier skin then maybe you get away with this one but it's not very brightening I'm just gonna set my face and do my contour um, off camera I will be right back okay guys so that's me powdered and um, contoured so next is a um, blush and highlight it's one of the blusher bricks his ply light lead to cheekbones to create a flawless glow. They did do other blushes as well, but they didn't have any highlights. I will say that the packaging for this one feels really like quite high quality to be honest. So that's the highlight, it actually looks quite nice. It's like a pinky kind of tone. So I'm just gonna go in with the bottom area, just on a blusher brush. It's a very shimmery blush, but it's okay. I mean, it's pigmented, I guess. And like I say, 99p to test the highlights. I'm just taking my highlighter brush and just going to get the very lightest colour. So there's definitely something there, I don't know if you can see. It's very pink toned, and you've got to work for it. I mean, it's buildable, but I kept having to like dip into the top colour. Yeah, and probably the best product so far, I'd say. So in terms of eyeshadows, they only sold them as singles, and they didn't have any matte colours at all, so no crease colours. But these are what they look like, they are huge pans. This shade Opal. The middle shade Boysenberry and the last shade Melon Mist. Unfortunately I'm not going to do a transition colour today. So I'm going to go in with Boysenberry. So if this has got pigment it actually might be quite a nice colour. So I'm going to start popping that into the crease as well. It's not bad. Tiny bit of fallout but nothing major blending nice and yeah quite pigmented so yeah for 99p not bad hey so that colour actually blended quite nicely I mean it is fairly pigmented, I did use it on a fluffy brush, so, oh that's nice actually, a bit powdery, but there you go, you can see, if I used it on a flat brush it would probably bring a lot more pigment. All in all, not a bad little um, eyeshadow, so I'm actually going to take this opal, I'm going to pop that onto my finger. This one's a little bit more powdery, um, but again, not bad. I'm just going to blend um, with that brush and should have a little bit of the shimmer left, uh, the purple left, sorry. Tiny bit of fallout. But I have higher end palettes that have worse fallout than this. Okay, and then for the highlighted colour, I'm going to use this Melon Mist. one it's actually quite nice 
And then on my damp inner corner highlighter brush, I'm going to pop that Melon Mist into the inner corner. And some of the colours of the eyes, I'm going to go in with the Boysenberry, which is the purple again. Just run that under the lower lash line. On a fluffy brush, I'm going to take um, Opal, which was the gold colour. And blend that together there. Quite impressive the eyeshadow to be honest. So next I have the liquid eyeliner. This is just in the colour Noir. It's very pigmented. But it's also very runny. And the um, brush is hard. Like you can't move it. precise eyeliner doesn't sting my eyes which is a bonus it's not the blackest either but it's not bad I don't know about this one if people would find it easy to use or not just because because the one is so inflexible like this bit here like on the top of your eye was quite hard but to get a wing was actually easy because the uh, the point of the brush just did it for you basically but trying to get this bit done it was sort of like stabbing your eyes and... No, jury's out. I mean, I guess for 99p, give it a go. Okay, so then I have the Volumizing Mascara in the colour Noir. In light, steady strokes, apply gently to lashes to enhance the length of your natural lash. So this one, on the back it's saying lengthening. Everyone says volumizing. I guess we'll see. Oh, I didn't expect that. So it's curved quite um, far up. I like the wand actually. It sort of grabs every single lash. It's very black. I wouldn't say it's particularly lengthening or volumising, but this is only one coat. So I'll pop a few more coats on and we'll see what we think after okay so after a couple of coats this is what it looks like the mascara looks like so i wouldn't say it's the best mascara in the world it's not actually the worst i've tried so i have an eyebrow product they had one color so uh, if you are not this color well then Apparently it's tough look. The colour I got was brown. That's all they had, brown. Luckily I have brown hair. I'm still not sure if it's going to be the right colour. So this says, use the angled brush to apply wax under the arch of your brow. Take the square brush to apply powder to fill in to create fuller brows. I'm going to do what it says. And so it came with a tiny little spoolie and this brush. Now I'm not being funny, but they're both angled, so the instructions, I don't know. Here we go. I'm going to do one brow the way they've said, and then um, do brow my way. Oh. No. <laughs> I really wanted this to go well. I can't, I can't use that brush. I just can't do it. Okay, so the pomade's okay. I think if you were a beginner, 
this might be quite a good one to try out as it doesn't dry quickly whereas like obviously the pomades like the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones dry super quick so you have to work quite quickly. Okay so now I've got all that I'm going to go over with the powder just see if I can set it down a little bit and put some definition into the fronts of my brows. So the powder itself is quite powdery, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, it's okay, I mean it's setting them down. Okay, so that is the eyes finished. The eyebrows aren't actually too bad. So these are the eyes finished. Final product is obviously for the lips, so I got the lip gloss in Antique rose they did have several different colors and they also did lipsticks I just really like the look of this one so yeah I like the packaging it feels actually quite luxurious and high-end looks to be quite pigmented oh it is I am super impressed with this lip gloss. It's not sticky. I mean, you can tell you've got something on your lips, but you can with all lip glosses. It's really, really comfortable. It's super pigmented. I mean, look at that. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Okay, guys, so home Barbie makeup, is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, for 99p, these products worked good. The only things I didn't really like was the foundation, and the concealer. The eyeshadows and the lip gloss I think were probably my favourite things. But I mean, to be honest, the lipsticks and the eyeshadows, I might actually go get some more. So yeah, if you do try it out, just let me know down below. If you like this testing video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know if there is other makeup brands that you would like me to test. I do have another really exciting series starting, but I'm going to be doing videos for this one every other week, rather than all together like I did with my Harry Potter ones. Just because it's going to be quite a long series and I do want to do other stuff for you as well so for people who aren't interested in this particular genre that I'm going to be doing there will be other stuff for you to watch but if you are liking my videos please hit that subscribe button down below it means the world to me to know that you guys are enjoying it and also the response that we got from Lewis coming on my channel was great we've had so many views and he will be back on once I get to 500 subscribers so if you want to see him. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!